I am MF Tired. So, music is a really difficult career to get into. It's really rewarding, and I love it because I love music. I love playing music. I love that I get to make music. Right now, I'm only working with things related to music, whether it's teaching, making these videos, doing mixing projects, stuff like that. And for that, I'm really grateful. However, it can be kind of rough sometimes. It's not really the most fruitful labor, meaning I don't really get a lot of money or recognition or anything like that. Like, I have family members that I know are secretly like, what is he doing? Like, why is he doing that? Like, why is he living like this? And there's all these types of rants that I can get into. And there's things I can talk about, like how the university system kind of like turns you out or like how if you search on Indeed, you're only going to find teaching jobs. There's also the stress of being an independent musician, meaning without a label or anything like that. Like, for example, I'm about to le release an album right now. And as an independent artist, I had no record label behind me, so I had to market it on social media. I mixed the album by myself. I had to pay all the musicians out of pocket and try to recoup the costs. And there's a lot of things that you have to deal with, and it's like really stressful. Despite having the privilege that I do to be able to make music and to be able to make money doing music, there are a lot of frustrating parts of this and you experience a different realm of emotions when something you love is bringing you kind of things that you not love. Like for example, sometimes I've thought, man, I wish I would have gone to school and studied something else. I could have gotten me a different job so that way I can make a decent amount of money and not have to hustle this much and this and that. And lately I've been thinking a lot of those thoughts and I've been really stressed out considering different jobs and all that stuff kind of just basically trying to get my life together. But I feel like this last week I've kind of unlocked something, not necessarily unlocked, but it like reignited my passion for music, for lack of a better word. I don't know, but basically I feel like I have a lot more energy now and I'm really a lot more excited about different things. And I kind of just want to go over candidly some of the ways that I've kind of dealt with all these things and ways that have helped me in getting through this. And you know, I, I don't know that I'm the right person to say this. I'm not a licensed psychologist or therapist or anything like that. These are just kind of things that go through my head and things that I've found and helped me out. And I feel like sharing this is helpful to the community in some way. So that's why I'm doing this. But again, not a certified anything. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So number one would be allowing yourself a break. Now, I don't mean this like, oh, don't practice for a day or whatever, like take some time off, but like really allow yourself. And what I mean by that is like, for example, for me, in my case, when I don't practice for a day or if I spend the day on the couch or something like that, I feel like really guilty and like I know I'm not alone because I've seen other musicians talk about this and I've talked to my friends about this. It's really important for you to kind of give yourself that time to relax and take a break from music. In this capitalist society, we're really kind of programmed to think like work, 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 grind, 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 hustle, hustle, hustle. And while, yeah, this is good, like you get more stuff done, you get more products, you get all of this and that, you're more productive and all this and that. But at some point it becomes a detriment. Like for example, for a few months, I didn't write any music up until a few days ago. There's definitely such a thing as toxic productivity and I'm not gonna talk too much about that. I'm gonna leave it to the productivity YouTubers or the anti-productivity YouTubers. But anyway, really allow yourself to give the break and give yourself time to kind of step away and like kind of reconfigure your brain and then come back to it. I find that that really helps me. It's something that I'm currently working on and I struggle with a lot, but when I do manage to give myself a me day and say like, oh, I'm gonna just relax guilt-free. I'm gonna get some tea, I'm gonna lay on the couch or I'm gonna go to a park or whatever, this and that. But anyway, speaking of parks, my second tip is to go outside or do something similar. I say go outside because I, I grew up in Florida and it's hot all the time and like outside is a fun thing to do for me. I live in New York and I'm surrounded by cities, so I go to parks and I feel like parks kind of help me reconfigure and it helps me like reset. The other day I went with my wife to Governor's Island. If you don't know what Governor's Island is, it's a little like island that you have to take a ferry to in New York City and there's a bunch of cool stuff. And like while I was there, I was literally in the bathroom at a urinal and I was like, oh man, this tune would be really cool. What if like we started with this, that? And then from there, I basically conceived a tune in my head. And then a few hours later when I got home, I sat down with the guitar and I wrote it in like 10 minutes and that's it. It's actually right here and it's called Life Cycles. Might record it soon, might not. We'll see what happens, but anyway. You have these like kind of serendipitous moments that when you allow yourself to step away from what you're kind of like just like obsessing over, things become a lot clearer. If you look at the same notebook, there's another tune that I wrote a few days ago called Jigsaw Labyrinth. This was another one that I thought of on my commute home. I was on like on the train and I was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to do this in a song? And then basically the song just kind of wrote itself in just a few minutes. It felt really good. But yeah, it doesn't have to necessarily be outside, but like definitely have a change of scenery. For me, walks are really good. Just ways to kind of just reset your mind and not think about music. Just pay attention to something else. 
get off social media maybe. I feel like I definitely need some social media breaks every so often because I'm on that way too much. But anyway, another piece of advice is to reignite the flame. And by that, I mean the flame that started burning inside you when you were like, I want to commit myself to music. And it doesn't necessarily have to mean I want to make music a career, but basically something in you at some point in time that made you be like, wow, I love music. And this applies to you no matter what skill level you are. At some point in time, you probably thought, wow, I really love this. And basically just go back and try to find that. For me, Foo Fighters is a big band that kind of brings me back because that's the band that I saw. I saw the music video for Best of You and I was like, wow, that looks so cool. I want to do that for the rest of my life. And you know, I kind of did that, or at least now. I'm 26 years old, and I saw that when I was like 11, 12 years old, and now literally half my life has been spent playing guitar. So whenever I go back to that, I'm like, wow, that's really cool. And then the flame can be reignited in some other ways, which leads me into my fourth point, which is playing music that you love with people that you enjoy. So get together with some friends, play music that you really love, and just kind of enjoy yourself. One thing that I feel personally is like, I went to jazz school and in jazz school, you're kind of forced to be overly critical of not only yourself, but everyone else. And this isn't necessarily that much of a bad thing, but there is a danger to it. Like one, for example, you don't want to become salty and bitter and crotchety over like my peers aren't as good as I want them to be. Definitely been there, even though I probably should have been there before. Or to get too hard on yourself, like, I am nowhere nearly as good as my peers, like, I'm gonna give up. To me, that's not really productive. It is good to kind of look to your peers for creativity and inspiration, but at some point, it becomes more of a detriment and it hurts you more than helps you. But anyway, back to the main point, what I was really trying to say is when you join these people that you really enjoy and in, in playing music that you really love, Try not to approach it from like an overly critical or like we're gonna make the best music ever kind of standpoint or viewpoint. Like just have the best time that you can. I feel like in society, we're kind of programmed to being really overly critical and competitive. Like there's all these music competitions or to get into music school, you have to audition. And while, well, okay, auditions can be cool, I don't feel like being competitive is that helpful because we all have our own creative voices and our own creative spirits and unique life experiences, really, and unique music experiences. Like, for example, some of my favorite bands are Foo Fighters, Circus Survive, then Shy Maestro's group, Donnie McCaslin's group, Aaron Parks' group, or, like, I really like Linkin Park, for example, or, for example, Yes, or, like, Streetlight Manifesto, you know? What are the chances that someone really digs those eight bands and those bands were really influential? And so to compare yourself based on skill level, like you're always gonna find someone better. There's always gonna be like an eight-year-old on YouTube on this platform that plays better than me. Like it's true, like it's just gonna happen. But they're not gonna express the same ideas that I'm trying to express or do it in such a way that I would. You know, everyone's got their own unique taste and touch. But anyway, back to this main point again, play music with the people you enjoy Enjoy yourself in this session. Don't be overly critical. Don't compare yourself. Try to not let the negative thoughts get to you. If a negative thought pops up, try to let it pass through you like a window. There's all these like different Buddhist and self-help things. I'm not gonna get into that because I'm not an expert on that and I'm probably gonna mess it, everything up. But yeah, there's a lot of resources out there if this is you. But anyway, my fifth tip would be to take things at your own pace. Now, this is a lesson that I had to learn when coming up with this album. Now, since I'm releasing it independently, there's a lot of things that I had to think about. And one was how to do everything. And there's, I'll be honest, there's a lot of times where I was like, ah, and I was at a standstill and I wanted to quit. There's a lot of points where I'm like, I'm not even gonna release this album. But basically I had to kind of let myself take the time to do this. And this could apply to an album, but it could also apply to starting a YouTube channel or like writing some music or putting a band together, booking shows and stuff like that. Try to do things at your own pace, do what's comfortable to you. There's like some good in being not comfortable and there definitely has to be a balance between these two, but allow yourself time to process things, process emotions, like kind of deal with things. Now, finally, the last one is to send me a DM or comment. Now it doesn't have to be me. If you want it to be me, my DMs are always open. I'm always willing to talk. This has happened on a few occasions where I've had full on conversations with strangers about what they should do with their lives. You know, I'm open to that. Send me a DM if you don't have anyone to talk to. I will be here and I'll respond to all the messages I get. Unless this video goes viral or something, in which case I might not be able to, but I'll try to get to all of you. Like, even if it's not me, it's totally fine. I, no obligation to message me, but like find a friend, find someone you trust in. It doesn't have to be another musician. Just like find someone to listen to you. I feel like sometimes, 
And this doesn't just go for music and just in life. Sometimes you just need to express yourself and someone just needs to listen and be like, yeah, that sucks. And like not give any solutions. Well, again, a lesson I'm learning myself. And seriously, if you need to send someone a message, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram, email, comment, whatever, like reach out to me. If you want to check out some of the album stuff, I have a playlist here of all the videos related to the album. You can find links below to check out merch. I have t-shirts and hoodies now and all this stuff. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you out. <clears throat> Consider dropping a like and subscribe. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.